morning. Fisher, thank you so much for the sub. You deserve the, the gold star for my first sub. <laughs> I have appreciated your presence in chat and in game so much over, gosh, it's only been like a few weeks. So thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> yeah, I, um, like a couple days ago, I became eligible for affiliate, and, um, I'm going to do, uh, what was the name I came up with? An aff affiliation appreciation celebration. Um, it'll be like a, I'll do a giveaway and all sorts of stuff, but I, I need to make sure that the, like the raffle, the raffle code in the, um, in the chat bot is is working properly. <laughs> it rhymes, it's alliteration, it's... Uh-oh, what did I... I am using the Streamlabs chatbot. It works really well. Um, and it does have some scripting capabilities. I haven't made extensive use of that. Um, I think it's Python 2.7 point something. Yeah, I, I saw the, the giveaway option, um, but I haven't, I haven't worked out like Door? Oh gosh, even this door is broken. Oh, there we go. Maybe this is just not a good server this morning. Um, yeah, I was going to... The, the ticket cost wasn't going to be any real money. I think I was going to do like... trapped in this airlock. There we go. I was thinking about um, requiring like following the channel or having watched an hour of the stream or something. Not, not a big uh, requirement by any stretch, but just just to keep people from like browsing Twitch for free giveaways and, and entering like that. And then, okay, there's a setting that requires being a follower. Um, I was I thinking, man, it's, I was up late and I apparently not had enough coffee this morning. Uh, I know you can adjust the, did I just turn my ship on and then off again? I know you can adjust the, um, yeah, regulars and subscribers to have a better chance. Um, and I was thinking about doing a, a Star Citizen starter pack. Okay, gotcha. Regulars can be X hours or points. Um, I was thinking about doing a Star Citizen starter pack, which would help will get into the game if they haven't uh, haven't picked it up already. I need to like Also, also, uh, I have not made yeah, they can always melt it or upgrade it or whatever. 
the the only catch is that if if I buy a pack and gift it to somebody, it is then bound to their account. Um, and granted, they're you know if they're getting it for free, then they they have no money invested in the game. But if they decide they don't like it, um, they can't give it to a friend or anything like that. There we go. Wait, I wanted to do some actual prospecting. I don't know if half jumps work, I'm gonna try it. That <laughs> sucks for them. Yeah, and, and part of the purpose would be is the chat. Chat is blurry, you're right. Um Oh wait. That can show up now. Doesn't seem like usual. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I don't see anything for Resolution. Uh, good idea. I'm trying to get it just the right height. Oh, let's see. Gosh, what what filter would I even use? Sharpen? I feel like that looks worse. What do you think? Less blurry, more stabbing. God, yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh. Um. Maybe image mask blend. Yeah, I toned it down a little. Uh, it's not. It's still stabby. Um, that is weird, isn't it? Ah, I had scaled it. There we go. Okay. How's that look? Uh, where are we? Where am I pointing in space? Huh. 
I mean, that makes sense that I had accidentally scaled it, but. I'll leave it there for now and see how. Oh, right. It's like quantum traveled. Okay, out to the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> Man, Fisher, you are earning that commission. We'll call it the Fisher 5%. <laughs> Man, I want the saddlebags to start small and get big. I know that's a it's a little picky little thing. I want that feature. Oh, I think before that um I want and you can see this in the um in the prospector brochure that CIG made. I want the saddlebags on the on the side that fill up with ore. Um, they are intended to start like contracted all the way to the top and then as you mine and fill them up they extend all the way down. And I really want that feature implemented. I'm sure it's, yeah, those are, those are the, uh, the ore canisters, and I don't know how well you can tell, but there's this almost rectangular door on the bottom at the back of the ship, and that opens up, and I believe, and, and people have guessed that that's where extra ore canisters will be stored, so you can drop the ones off the side have somebody come and pick them up for you, take them to sell, and then you attach empty tanks and just keep mining. <laughs> so, you're going to make a, a fragmentation grenade out of these things. Right now it does just look like a maintenance hatch. And I thought it was a... I thought there would be like a tiny little refinery in there or something. But it does have some weird... Actually, I can probably... It's not a recommended practice. Let's see. There are like some little round things and there are some like round... I don't know. A round bracket, presumably for close my ship. You know, if if you were into ship undercarriages, I guess that was an upskirt, wasn't it? There's some some serious Rule Thirty Four going on there. I'm sure there will eventually be Star Citizen Rule 34 with uh, personified ships. That is not something that I will ever go looking for. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure it'll happen. There's like... Boeing 747, Rule 34. You've got a ship like this that can actually open up its undercarriage. It's 
going to happen. This is the internet. These things will always get turned into porn. All right. So I have no idea if this is a good mining area. Oh, I keep, I keep starting to say this and then forgetting. Um, I have not made subscriber emotes yet. Or, um, yeah, that's what it is, right? I haven't made subscriber emotes. <laughs> Look, I, I'm, I'm not a talented graphic designer. Um, so, if you have suggestions, I am open to them. I'm thinking about kind of taking my my avatar, the pink saluting man, and uh, kind of s almost cell shading it a little bit. Graphic emote. Actually, my my girlfriend is an artist. Not, not a professional artist, but um, I really want to get some of her stuff to use for the, the channel. Because it's, it's like she has to go to trainings like once a month or something, and it's, it's like six hours of usually bullshit that she doesn't need to hear. So she just sits there and doodles, and the doodles turn out fantastic. She's got some really bizarre looking characters. So I really want to use those. Plus I can pay for that artwork by doing things like chores. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a... I don't really know what I want the channel to look like. At this point, yes, just Star Citizen. That's that's the only thing I have been streaming and I'm planning on streaming. Um, so I was actually looking at the, the um, Streamlabs themes to see if there's... And there are some that, that look pretty good for Star Citizen. Um, so I might go that route for the time being, just because they're... They're really clean. The themes are like everything ties together really well. Something I talked about last night and seemed to be received pretty well was um, like maybe in the morning on the weekend doing a stream with my girlfriend and having her sit down and play a game she's never heard of before. So that would... That would freshen things up a little bit, but I plan to stream pretty much just our citizen. And someone was like, hey, you should play horror games. And I'm like, I don't like horror games, but it would probably be hilarious. Emails do bring viewers. You're right. You are right. I, I cannot be a titty streamer have enough going on up here. Moofgraph, is that... Oh gosh, this show's like... Women versus men. I'll take a look at it later. Uh, oops. I need some blobs. There's some blobs. Oh, stream overlay is very nice. Thank you. And as far as <laughs> it can give me boobs.
Gosh, I don't. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has, like, if any guys have gotten plastic surgery so they could be titty streamers. Keep getting into these weird conversations. I guess I could, like, put on a bra and just put two melons in it. Two actual melons. Yeah, transgender, but... Um, like... A guy could get plastic surgery to have boobs and still not be transgender. It would just be a little... unusual. Okay, what's over here? Fisher, how's work going? Hopefully there's enough to keep you awake at night anyway. Is it the work itself that you don't like, or is it like the, ter the weird shift time? This thing handles like a a wildebeest. <laughs> having having a good group of people, especially in management, seems to make an enormous difference. So I'm sorry to hear that it's not a not a pleasant experience. Especially like when when upper management is not I guess not empathetic of people they manage, or I guess in your case if your boss isn't very bright. It can be hard to find any any solid motivation to do the work. But. This may not be a good spot for ore. Ooh. Forgets peoples. <laughs> Forgets what work people have done. Being selective about enforcing rules is... Not even just, like, in the workplace, but in general is one of the worst... Or, or one of my biggest pet peeves, like, just about everything. Good morning, Axius. How are you doing today? Um, just about everything in life is about, like, understanding rules and following them, or understanding when it's okay to bend them. And if your boss is constantly changing what is permitted and what is not, then you're not... You're not going to have a pleasant time, because more of your energy is spent trying to figure out what what you're supposed to be doing and what you can't do. <laughs> you just woke up two minutes ago. Well, I am flattered that the first thing you did in the morning was come visit the, the stream. The, uh, the 
the part of me that's trying to grow the channel encourages that, but then the part of me that uh, tries to encourage healthy behaviors would discourage you from from coming here first thing after you wake up. But I will not tell you how to live your life. Ah, check Discord, gotcha. I do not have Discord on any of the things that I can put beside the bed. Ah, training binder. Management is supposed to be the the, f <laughs> the group of people who knows exactly what's going on and who knows what has been done so that they can keep people on task and not have two people working on the same thing at the same time. So I feel for you, Fisher. Okay, wanted you both to be working on it, to, I guess, together. Uh, okay. Okay, you started working on one. <laughs> you started working on one. He told you he had one. He did not have one. Got it. That is... I feel like often there's not a lot of oversight for management making mistakes like that. I guess if you've got several tiers of, of or like a vertical hierarchy, there might be... Look, plants! They're like little cacti, little purple cacti. This server is not bad now that I've gotten away from Port Olisar. It was, it was a little sketchy um, right when I logged in. I haven't tried actually mining anything yet, so I don't know how the how the lag's gonna be. Figured I would go somewhere I'd <coughs> never been before and actually look for some some ore. Task you with making a schedule for twelve hours. management double coverage with six people I guess <laughs> I guess that would be the the absolute bare minimum right like two people every eight hours with six people that would just barely cover 24 hours But then everyone would have to be working literally seven days a week. Okay, gotcha. 84 hours in a day. Okay. Where are all these? I, look, I did not look at this one. Yeah, there's just a lot of corundum here. I 
like low percentage diamond. <laughs> Fisher's trademarked crudium. And low percent agrecium. And I think I think impulses burn up hydrogen fuel. I guess engines burn up hydrogen fuel. I need to find a new spot. Back to orbit. Or just higher altitude anyway. So that was an, a nice little ridge alley or something. There didn't seem to be much there. Lower that away. Oops. I'm I'm not super sure why <laughs> I let you guys give me instructions. Uh, Fisher has me ram my ships into other ships, and Axius here telling me to do stuff like you by microphone. Probably not, not very pleasant for anybody. But I want to adjust something real quick, quick before I hit the ground. Try that. I'm glad you thought it was great. I I tried not to chomp on it too much. Wait, did you clip me eating my microphone? <clears throat> okay, I think I know where this this comment is going to go. But eventually, I want to set up my um, blue Yeti microphone, and that one I will not be able to eat because it is about this big around. Now, I should probably disable chat because I know what's I know what's coming next. <laughs> Anything is small enough if you unhinge your jaw. Rocks. Rocks. Look, I don't, I don't want to dislocate my jaw. I've, <clears throat> I know somebody who broke their jaw. They were in a car accident, and they had to wear a thing. Their, like their jaw was wired shut for months. They could basically only eat smoothie food. Malak Janak Bionic jaw. Uh, I think if if literally all of your food is smoothies for months, you get tired of it pretty pretty quickly. Like he had trouble talking, he had to carry around a rag so he could dry off his spit. I think he had a hole drilled in his teeth so he could fit a straw through. It's, it's a rough time. <coughs> <laughs> I, I really don't think of eating as a, a high adrenaline activity. <laughs> Fisher Blue, everybody, take a bow. Sure, if eating almost kills you, that would be quite an adrenaline rush, but, like, I ain't about that life, I'm gonna be honest. 
the most exciting eating I will do is like riding a bike down a hill and using that opportunity to stuff some cliff bar in your mouth. Got to get better at flying this thing. Oh my god, Fisher. <sighs> cannot. <sighs> cannot handle you. You know what? I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking about things in the mouth. It's unproductive. It's getting me in trouble. So your your buddy also has a friend named Cliff. He gets shoved in his mouth. It's just one F actually in, in Cliff. He's very particular about how he spells his name. Haven't seen each other in a hot minute. Ah, okay, you're being fancy. Like, <laughs> like uh, Cliff Fafa. If, if you've seen Jeff Dunham. is Cliff with one F. Did that? Okay. The chat box is no longer showing the very bottom row of pixels of messages at the top of it. So I would consider that a success. Not consider this. Oops, that's what I did past. I would not consider this prospecting a success. Let's go to Wolf Point. Old faithful Wolf Point. I do like these ships. You can point straight up in the air and get out of atmosphere. Unlike some, looking at you, Starfarer, <coughs> Caterpillar. What about geysers? What about geysers? I've seen some. There are some geysers somewhere. Maybe it's Damar. I remember where I saw them. I haven't been to Selen in a while. Don't go there. Can't be appropriate. You are correct about that. <clears throat> oh my god, Axius. <laughs> are, are you providing the stream with memes this morning? That's a very... Very morbid one. I never thought about that, but now I'm not glad <laughs> that I have been made aware. That that is the thing that we know now. <laughs> Needs to be tested. Well, Andy grew up, didn't he? Need uh to be one of his kids or something, or... I don't remember who he gave his toys to. That is the thing that we know now.
Our brains are super weird. All the things we remember. There's something on the other side of the planet. That little harvest is on the other side. I'll just go to Wolf Point. Shelter. Of course, it's the last one I check. I'll go ahead and throw out the epilepsy warning before we get around the planet. I will divert the camera as much as possible. <laughs> An issue. It seems to the the epilepsy thing seems to happen when you're <coughs> this kind of perpendicular to the planet's surface. E. I could hook up my controller, but I have no practice with the, the controller control bind, or the key bindings. Key bindings? Control bindings? Except for flight stuff. So I don't know how to do mining. Into the atmosphere we go. Cause baby, you're a firework. Me. Yeah, my singing's not great. I apologize for that. Oh, it's okay. You weren't talking about that. Whew. It's storming where you are. Well, stay safe, if I remember. Gosh, we've had so many bad hurricanes recently, I can't keep them all straight, but last year or a couple years ago, uh, whichever one it was that hit Florida, I saw Professor Broman's pictures, like, of his windows boarded up with metal siding. Stay safe, Axius, don't get electrocuted. I see the lights. <laughs> well, Fisher, I guess that's what you get for digging. All right, now where's the door? There's the door. even realize that there was a, a Toy Story extended cannon. <clears throat> All right, Fisher, I'm going to stop you right there, bud. We don't need that in our lives. Chris Brown got arrested again for what? Smacking somebody? Oh my god. Known physical assaulter gets arrested for physical assault. Yeah. 
I hope it wasn't Rihanna again, although I don't imagine she stayed with him. I don't keep track of celebrity news at all. Felony battery, man. So not the stuff that happens when you're a little too rough in the bedroom. It's a rock inside a rock. I mean, 20% quartz would be good if there was something else in there. So Axius, you were here last night, I think, when Getting Ghost said that um, each node always contains the same materials, but when you load into a different server, or when the rock respawns, it has a different percentage. So if we can find a good rock and remember where the heck it is, 0.5% diamonds are pretty good. And easy to mine. I'm gonna do this. Actually, I'm gonna do something flashy. Um, so if... Clunk. Oh, Clunk! Where? Shift sideways. Um, each, each of these rocks as a, apparently has um, a set, um, <laughs> good point, Fisher. Um, each rock has a static list of materials in it. So like, this rock at these coordinates on this planet will always have diamond. Um, but, that's wheel, depending on what, hello, my laser isn't working, yeah, orgs can monopolize areas, or, or like put a claim down, um, <clears throat> well, this is weird, Server crashed. Axius, I can't can't figure out what the, what that comment's referring to. Is, oh, my laser not working. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> he doesn't actually know me, but my my name is Danny. You're welcome to call me Danny. Um, ah, didn't even let me. Oh well. No, it. My laser was fine. I could turn it up as high as I wanted, it's just that the server wasn't receptive. Gosh, that sounds rapey, doesn't it? Jeez. Uh, Fisher, Axius does not know me in real life. And I do not know him in, except like over Discord, I don't know, that's, that's kind of a gray area, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, about Elon Musk being one of the people not stuck on the planet. Yeah. Being rough in the bedroom is... Uh, it's tricky. 
600i with the crosshair on it. I don't want to... I don't want to make that what defines me, you know? I don't want to be the... the guy who... I don't want to be the guy who blows up other people's ships. I can't run over cargo boxes. Word. Oh, I must have left my freelancer in the middle of space. <laughs> One confirmed kill, maybe. Um, if the guy had, like, crashed out of his game then it may just have been a ship that I destroyed but hey I'll, I'll take it <laughs> they were they were booping snoots they were they were pretty damn close I couldn't tell from the camera if I blew up the other one or not didn't think to look we could go to the video Hold on, what's too sexual? <laughs> the, the booping of the snoots? Are there children here? I'm sorry. Snoot, look, snoot booping is not sexual. That's, that's like Eskimo kisses. Kids eat that right up. Makes them laugh, makes them happy. <laughs> Look, the channel is marked as mature content, so. Children and their parents have been warned. Oops. Look, you know what? Just. Fisher, you're putting words in my mouth. Just not the best choice of words given the conversation thus far. Oh, you don't need to clip. You don't have to clip everything. I get in trouble, I'm putting it on you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh, my quantum drive is misbehaving. There we go. We are kind of like a stockholder. Look, I can't, I can't stop you from clipping anything. I think I can delete it later, but I won't, I won't do that. If, if it's a clip of like nothing, <laughs> that's being a fascist. Censorship, down with the censorship. Down with the fascist government that is Danny's stream? No. I'm not a government. I don't think I'm a fascist. I hope I'm not a fascist. Yeah. <laughs> what are you calling a jackbooted thug? I don't think I'm a thug. I can't can't beat anybody up. Certainly not with this ship. Not with any other ships because I can't hit them. <laughs> I have no idea what that means either. <clears throat> Is that like a classic British greeting or something? Like I know for 
Australians cunt is a term of endearment. Target your term used to describe an overly oppressive and authoritarian of individual or group. Violent tendencies. Gotcha. So I'm a, a hired merc for a fascist regime. This is a cool looking rat. Let's go look at this cool looking. Wow. 1982. That's a long time ago. It sounds like an old insult. <laughs> it's... Oh, the book! That's why it sounded a little familiar. Gotcha. Jack Booted Thug. Okay. It's, it's a much more specific insult than just calling someone a Nazi. Maybe that's why they, they went for it. Alright, back at the good spot. I had an English teacher who liked to use Shakespearean insults. Not on students, he would just suggest them to us. If you're really mad at someone, call them a... some other sycophant. <laughs> they had their hair dyed green. Your point dismissed. Yeah, there was another good word in front of sycophant, but I can't remember what it was. This was high school, which was a long time ago. The, uh, in that class, I'm, I'm like, I'm like old as new dirt, but not quite as old as old dirt. In that class, we had to, uh, we read some of the Canterbury Tales, and we had to memorize the first 18 lines, I think? 25. Axius, is that a, is that your age, or is that a guess? We had to memorize the first 18 lines of the Canterbury Tales <coughs> in Old English. And I, I think, I guess, I am almost 28. So it was a good guess. Ah! Sorry, that was loud. Sorry. Um, I shaved yesterday, so I look more youthful. So if you'd like to hear the first 18 lines of the Canterbury Tales in a, a terrible old English accent, I can do that. And we actually had to recite it in front of class as part of the assignment. And that unit was like, we had to read some of it. I don't remember how much. Why did we have to memorize it? I have no clue. I have no idea. I think, to give us an appreciation of literature or something. Well, Axius, have a happy 67th birthday tomorrow, sir. <laughs> I might mine this, this rock just because I've been staring at rocks all morning. I'm going to assume he is 
joking, he uh, sounds much more youthful than 67. Or 66 and 364 days. Oh no, you said something about call it well. People who are turning 67 can still go to college. <laughs> it will be interesting now that we've got so much internet what sort of digital things will be in people's wills. Like... Um, this is about to get kind of depressing. Um, I know Total Biscuit's wife is still running his channel, I think. But like, what are, what are people going to do with their channels? they get old, are they going to retire? I mean, it's, it's, it's more than just income, I think. It's, it's a way to, you know, honor his memory and everything he's done. Yeah, after a while, well, you know, all the all the kids these days like the the hardcore Fortnite streamers. I wonder if there's eventually going to be a an audience for <laughs> a bunch of old people streaming. Probably be entertaining. It'd have no filter at whatsoever. Oh, don't do this to me, lag. I had a good percent. Uh, 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 it's freaking lag, man. I am not dissing on Fortnite. It's just what all the kids are into. <clears throat> I played it. I played the uh, the tower defense portion of the game before it turned into battle royale or predominantly Battle Royale. Um, <clears throat> I, I doubt I could get into the Battle Royale. I am not a competitive person. I am dissing on <laughs> a large part of the community surrounding Fortnite. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's a, a good game. Obvious. I mean, it's successful. You can't <clears throat> you can't fault them for being successful. Um, but a lot of the community surrounding it is not not the kind of place I want to hang out. Not the kind of people I want to hang out with. Like it's at least the what is it Fortnite Save the World or something is the tower defense version um, or portion of the game. That's fun, and it's they have a great aesthetic. Like the loot pinatas are cute. Uh, the zombies are hilarious. The characters are fun. It's a fun game. But I realize that's that is not what Fortnite is anymore. Oopsie. Ah! Oh, good. I love the the huge little chunks. certainly not be as profitable as getting ghost usually is. 
Gotta find me a rock that I can just barely mine. What else is fun, Axius? It's gonna be something like popping your eyes out with spoons. <laughs> Let's not go down the meth road again. We've had too many meth discussions. Now, is it, um, is it Fortnite in particular that you don't like, or is it Battle Royale in general? All right, we're gonna talk about meth this morning. <laughs> Just Fortnite, okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't want to talk about math. when the rock gets crispy. Ah! Server lag, why? PUBG. You know, I I don't think I could get into PUBG. Um, I don't really like competitive gameplay, and I don't know that I have the patience for collecting a bunch of weapons and then getting killed from, you know, 200 meters, never having seen the the enemy. Just not my thing. <coughs> ah, okay. Uh... No, not general. Voice general, there we go. Now back to archive so I can get my, get my minerals list. Let's try not to blow this one up. Uh oh. Oh my god. Alright, I'll just go to a different one. Ridiculous. Oh, excuse me. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Yo. Good morning, Axius. Good morning, Danny. <laughs> so why don't you like Toby? Um I think part of it is the aesthetic, not The, the hyper-realistic army sim doesn't quite appeal to me. Okay, we're a PUBG not armor. Uh, say that again. Do you know what armor is? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Just not my cup of tea. Well, yeah, you're Canadian. It would be your cup of syrup, eh? <laughs> you know, I've never met anybody who drinks straight syrup. Sounds 
Doesn't sound very good. I do. What type Ford I eighties? <laughs> Lesser American. <laughs> well, I've I've lived in the United States my entire life. So I'm for, for all intents and purposes I'm American, but I also like to identify as Canadian. <laughs> You've seen the movie Elf? No, I have not. I know that's Dude, what the hell is that's wrong like with heresy. You? Fisher, if the mining laser is too loud, let me know. I've got the the sound effects turned down to like twenty five percent or something. But the mining laser is is unreasonably loud. Well, it is a laser in space, so. Gotcha. Start up Camelot Unchained. All right, come on, little ship, get out of atmosphere. I don't want to use all my hydrogen fuel right away. It's neat how the size of the atmosphere is kind of proportional to the size of the moon. Like on, so this is Daymar, and the atmosphere is like twenty-eight thousand meters, I guess. And on Delamar, it's more like. 5,000, I think. Interdiction! Again? Twice you were interdicted by... Great caterpillars. Yeah. One of them was a pirate, and the one was getting attacked by a pirate. Yeah, and I don't see the, um, I don't see anyone else out here with the caterpillar. There probably is a smaller ship. But smaller ships may not show up 18 kilometers away, whereas the caterpillar is enormous and has a huge signature. Oh, someone mentioned last night that boost is only for changing directions quickly. So that is very helpful knowledge. Now I won't be using my boosters all the time. Oh god, I almost hit a bomber or something. That was very close. Oh no. Glass, please. Please proceed to slide landing bay. We and I always get scared when ATC doesn't tell me that I've had a successful landing. Why? <laughs> because... You're gonna come out and your ship's gonna be like... <laughs> inside. The landing it, pad. It, like it won't register the ship as landed. I think it has something to do with where on the pad you land, like it might need to be inside this yellow area. It's, it's been more of a problem with the caterpillar because I always try to land it really close to the, the door. Uh, but then, like, you go inside and you can't sell stuff from your ship. 
because it's outside whatever bounds it needs to be in. Space suit looks so goofy. Oh, uh, poop. Something's not working. <coughs> Ow. No money. What about the other terminal? What about the dirty terminal? Nope. No, you. <clears throat> well, time to try a new server. I'm not selling my stuff for nothing. I ain't about <clears throat> that volunteer Ow. life. Dude, you don't even work. <laughs> ah, you be quiet. Volunteer life. <laughs> the most exciting thing you do all day is ride your bicycle and shove Cliff's bar in your mouth. I don't do that a whole lot, actually. I could. Uh, just on weekends when you have free time? There's, uh, there's a lot of good, good riding in Colorado. There's a greenway that goes all the way from Denver to Boulder, I think. I hope this doesn't drop me in the same server. I should have changed which one I wanted, I guess. It was, it was pretty poor planning on my part. If I can't sell my prospector's goods here, then I will have learned my lesson. I wish there were some indication of what server you were joining. I don't know if we could have like an ID number. Maybe there is, I just don't know how to display it. Just commit. Just do what? Hey, there's money. 2467 is pretty good. Especially considering I did not blow myself up in the process. How is that good? There's no entertainment. Well, we did talk about meth and going too deep in Toy Story canon and then... There was... Yeah, there was a lot of weird stuff that happened. <laughs> <clears throat> All I got for it was this lousy t-shirt. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if Kasaba has clothes again. It was weird last night when they were completely out of everything. Clothing, no shoes, no hats. Can't make it. Maybe they were out mining. Maybe they didn't have any stock because they've been making money mining. That would be stupid. <laughs> Pretty sure there is not a 600i floating over Olasar right now. You did not see anything that remotely resembled a 600i. Kasaba has figured out the, the new meta. No risk, all reward. They just dropped everything. <laughs> Off 
off the Mar. Let's see if if Get Ghost can lend us some of his good or luck. No, he's not even on. I don't think he's he's not on. Yeah, we'll find go. Okay, I guess Wolf Point is right around the horizontal axis of the planet. I guess that's what you'd call it. Yeah, equator. There we go. Is Fisher still watching or did he leave? I think he's still here. He may be playing Camelot Unchained at the same time. I'm seeing this person. <laughs> he wants to know what you want, Axius. You're the one that's endorsing me. <laughs> Look, I am endorsing your product. I don't know if I can endorse you as a person. I don't think I know endorse you well my, enough. Endorse my product. Yeah, I'm, I'm endorsing your my, Discord revamping. My abilities as a Discord server creator. Fisher is still asking what you want. You're the one that's supposed to say it, not me. I'm not streaming. What? No, what? What? You you asked if he was still here. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be somebody that's watching. Oh. <laughs> Can't you say it to nobody? <laughs> Fisher, I too am confused, but that is kind of how I live my life. That's not okay. Constant state of confusion. Hey, Fisher, you want some drugs? <clears throat> <laughs> he probably doesn't want drugs. No, he... he, he will. I mean, he, as a as a retired police officer, he's probably not into drugs all that much. No, he'll, he'll want them. If that's the why... If that's the why that Get Ghost was talking about. CAD Master! I should ask this guy for some computer aided design services. Oh, that's right, you do have. Were, were those your, your Canadian investments? Or am I thinking of something else? I remember you mentioned your. your Marijuana investments. Front door. This must be Fisher, not Fisher. Uh, the Y. Your stocks tanked. Figured marijuana stocks would be booming right now. It's being legalized everywhere. Including Canada. Went up six dollars and then dropped. You know, you might just have to stick with it. Like, I'm sure they'll bounce back. That. Well, I expect them to bounce back. I don't know the stock market well, but. Um... Oh, that's right. Right. The, the Canadian one is the only tradable stock. Yeah, like, all the dispensaries here only take cash. Because banks won't... Banks won't touch marijuana money. So they've got... Probably all of them have ATMs inside. So you can go withdraw some cash. 
Okay. I mean, you can make a class about how to illegally buy into stocks of drugs. Uh, say that again, I didn't catch the first part. Never mind. Okay. Federal, federal government will remove all <laughs> bank benefits if they accept marijuana money. It's really kind of stupid because opiates are legal as prescription medication. But opiates are highly addictive. Whereas, I know that now I can stop anytime I want to. Whereas marijuana um, or I guess not marijuana but CBD. So the there's a chemical in the plant that is non-hallucinogenic and has like pain relieving properties. But because it's made from the marijuana plant, it is illegal. It's legal in most places. One one other factor is that because it has been illegal for so long. Okay, but THC is illegal. But like since marijuana has been illegal for so long, there's hardly any research. So, like, drug companies won't buy into it because they don't know if it works or not, and they already have something that does work. But, like, it, there needs to be more research on it, especially if it can be beneficial. Like, there are a lot of... Um, Marinol. I haven't heard of that one. Good morning, Meatball. Glad to see you today. You have a weird body. Zero positive... Either zero, zero positive effect or three hour long bad trips. Damn. I met someone who said she has tried it before but gets super duper paranoid. So she won't use it either. <laughs> Hop in and leave, you stoner. Um, there are a lot of, there are some medications for women who are pregnant. I think they're painkillers. Um, but they're like, they are known to have detrimental effects. Um, or, or, they have known uh, potential side effects that are detrimental to the, the baby. Um, whereas, like, a, uh, a CBD product can achieve the same effect, possibly without the, the side effects. There's not enough research, so people don't know yet. Um, but, like, it's, it's hard to tell somebody no, don't use this product that that might have bad effects over a product that has known bad effects. It's it's such a weird situation. Okay, since we're already talking about drugs, we want to talk about meth. <laughs> no, I don't think meth has any <laughs> any good effects. It makes your teeth fall out quicker. If that's something you're going for, but have you ever seen a person without front teeth eat a hot dog? Meth can be prescribed. What the <laughs> hell is up you're with right. that? Oh my god! I hope it's like really small doses for, like, as an antidepressant or something. Man, that can be prescribed. That's terrifying. Why don't we have something... Why don't we have an alternative? There is no... There is no alternative to meth. <laughs> There's not doing meth. No, 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 no. 
the socks in. So what is it, Fisher, what is it prescribed for? Is it an antidepressant or is it? I hope it's not like an ADD. No, that would be the opposite effect. Obesity and ADHD, interesting. I can see how meth could help someone deal with obesity, but boy, I wish there, there were better alternatives that were as easily implemented. So the stimulants have the reverse effect on people with ADHD. I was not aware of that. That's really interesting. Is that any stimulant? So like caffeine? Okay, caffeine will pump it down. Wow. <laughs> I guess I don't have ADHD then. The dog wants out to bust this rock. Can't, can't stop, won't stop. Ugh. All right, Sharon, head to bed. Thank you for hanging out this morning, Fisher. I hope you're. rocks. I hope your, uh, your boss sees the light and becomes a more reasonable person and your work gets more enjoyable. <laughs> 5% of your subscription by Monday. Well, Twitch won't pay me out until I've accrued a certain amount of revenue, so... I have to wait a while for your your five percent. Hundred percent and paid out after ninety days. Or a hundred bucks. Well done. I don't expect to reach a hundred bucks by Monday. Oh, you're an affiliate too. Awesome. Well, yeah, once once you're streaming again, maybe I can get you your 5% that way. <laughs> maybe I'll stream this one. This is cool. Good, good. dog is so weird. Like, I want to go outside and then 10 seconds later, oh, back inside. <laughs> Axius, if you, uh, if you follow Fisher Blue, he says you can, you can join his Discord. Huh? Fisher says, uh, yeah, Fisher says if, if you follow his channel, you can join his Discord. Oh, the, the correct term is unban, <laughs> he says. That's a, that's almost like, it's like a shakedown. Oh, don't do this to me, server. Pop. I do wonder if overcharging the rock damages some of the material. <laughs> I 
Uh, I don't want to blow up my ship, Fisher. This is this is such a good rock. I don't want to see that's. The Tell Fisher he's gonna have to send me a request through Discord itself because my phone don't take too kindly to link. <laughs> well, once once he can start streaming again, I'm sure that. His Discord will be available on his channel. He says he'll, he'll send you an invite later. Right. Can you give him my Discord information? Probably. I'm not it's... saying I know how. <laughs> I can probably figure No, just out. type my username, which is capital D J underscore capital A. Okay. And then Axius. It's my Twitch name, it's the D and the A capitalized, and then okay. hashtag 4353. 4353? 3353. 3353. Three, three. Three, three, three. Hold on, I'm in the middle of mining a rock. I really can't do anything else except breathe. I know how to fix your breath. I think I was holding my breath even. Maybe I can't mine and breathe at the same time. No, or, or, you know, just suicide. That doesn't sound like a good idea. It's either that or meth, so you choose. Suicide or meth. I feel like there, there ought to be more choices than that. No, there's not. Just a Life doesn't give you any more choices. Life is freaking rough. Two purple rocks? Oh. That was the tiniest purple rock ever. Uh, it's just like your penis. <laughs> a completely different shape. No comment about the size. <laughs> because you know I'm right. <laughs> I don't know, I've, I've never entered a dick measuring contest, so I don't know how I compare to the average population. Nor do I intend to enter a dick measuring contest. Even if your girlfriend tells you to? I don't think she would tell me to. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm not a macho guy. Oh, really? <laughs> Perhaps the saluting pink avatar gave it away. You're not a feminist, are you? <laughs> that, that was a question. Uh, I believe that everyone should not be dicks to each other. Okay, that's, that's close enough. I, I believe that... That's okay. It's it's not exactly feminism, it's like equality. It's kind of a yeah, more more broad equality. Includes feminism, I guess. I hope I can put my ship on these fragments. Gotta make those little circles. Get that extra ore. Go. 100%. Uh, almost overshot. That turn around. Okay. Let's see.
Let's see. Um, D J underscore X C S, right? Yes. Number three three five three. I think I did that correctly. Or the D and the A capitalized? Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. God, I'm going to have to jump all the way around Daymar to get back to... Or you could get through the plane. I would love to take the, the mining laser off the front of the prospector and it would just have this ridiculous looking happy face. Why is that what you think? I don't know. I'm missing my mess. I don't know. Okay, 20,000, 29,000. Right, about 30,000 meters of atmosphere. Seems to be on the other side. Oh, God, it's not going to freak out this time. Thank you, Quantum Travel, for cooperating and not giving anybody seizures. Seizures. Where did Crusader go? There it is. Cool, damn it. There we go. Or calibrate. It wasn't calibrating. And we're off. Really not as good at this as Get Ghost. He's much more efficient. Well, life. Hmm. That he's been doing it his whole life. <laughs> oh boy. Came in really hot there for some reason. Little caterpillar down there. It's bravely running cargo this morning, I guess. Please proceed to sign landing bay. It's a straight up legit cat, not even a pirate one, I think. With the Kovalex logo instead of skull and crossbones or whatever. I am not. Uh, freaking ATC, man. the ladder. Oh, that hornet spawned without any equipment. That's a shame. Poor pilot. Okay, 
wonder why that glitch happens. I wonder how, how long we're going to have to wait before it's fixed. Oh, it came with item 2.0, didn't it? Four seventy is not bad. It's not uh, forty five hundred, which is Segalian's record, I think. Forty five eighty three. Gilgar's had forty five eleven. <laughs> and I found a rock that probably would have got me that much, but then the server died, and I was sad. Those rocks are fun to mine because they, like, you either need two people or you have to go all the way up and, like, stick your nose right on it and put your laser up to 100%. Sorry, I kind of died there. Oh, you're good. I usually, if, if no one else is talking, I usually just talk to myself all the time, so. That's... So no worries. I'll worry about your mental health, but... Ship. There we go. Oh, the engines are still... There we go. Back to Daymar. I'm going to try one of the mining outposts this time. See what can be found there. I do wonder. I, I haven't seen information either way, but I wonder if being below the stealth line in quantum travel prevents you from being interdicted. That is my superstition. Oopsies. These buttons are too close together. about Shubin. It would make sense that there are good things to mine near a mining facility. Whee! Someone said it last night, but the planetary approach stuff is so cool. Why didn't I... Not sure if the if Damar is rotating so that we're gonna be facing away from Crusader. Hopefully it's the other direction. Just go straight up in the atmosphere and jump back to Port Olisar. sunrise or sunset over there. Sunrise or sunset. Yeah, I'm not sure which way the, the moon is spinning. 
What what is the what? <laughs> yeah, like it's it's either it's sunrise or sunset. But since I oh. since I don't know which way the moon is spinning it, I have no idea which one it is. Okay. That makes sense. If I'm mining and it becomes daytime, then we're probably looking at sunrise. Unless I spend so long piddling around it becomes the next day. Or or you know it's I think you kind of broke up there. I didn't hear a lot of that. Neat. So I wonder if there's anything good here. Right next to... Oh, I'm too high, aren't I? Oops. Pressing the wrong buttons. I don't know what F3 does. Can't see the ground. There. All right. So, what does the mining shelter? Reasonable amounts of quartz. Barrel is 137% diamonds. So 218, about 800. Barrel would be about 200. Quartz would be that much. But if that is not the best rock in this region, we might do pretty well here. Dog is now asleep on the couch. Favorite spot. to spawn. Well, whether it's sunrise or sunset, we've got Crusader Rise as well. Which looks much cooler. <laughs> this one would be Decent. So like a thousand from quartz. About seven hundred from barrel, so that's not bad. Not a great deal. Once we can start crafting components this Material gathering will be much more interesting. We'll have a reason to go for the l lower, lower selling materials. Forgotten where the shelter is. Looks like Crusader is rising. So it should be roughly overhead when we're leaving. Sweet. Into the sun. Ah, uh, not the star. Just the planet. No, no. Fly into the star. It might be possible. It might take a really, really long time. So, so I need to do it. It's all that matters. I will push my ship in that direction and 
leave it running and maybe this evening it'll be there. <laughs> Getting fantastic yields from these deposits. or something, Maximus? Mm hmm? Is your chair just squeaky? Down in bed. Gotcha. Not great rocks out here. I just need to find something and mine it at this point. Find the grasshopper, mate. Grasshopper is probably a low yield deposit. What's over toward Crusader? Anything? Yes, lots of things. Be nice to mine while looking at Crusader. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Check these others real quick. Eight and a half percent diamond plus a bunch of quartz. Another tough one to crack, it looks like. Potentially impossible. That is about as close as I can get. Really bumped into the rock. What more it wants. There's the spot. I hope, I think. No, 
Oh, it's dropping. Come back up. Oh, there it goes. Holy cow. Oh. I didn't realize it was that close to popping. Hear somebody else mining, but I can't see anybody. Or a laser. What is going on? It's a ghost. Spoopy. I somehow desync myself. That would not be the best. Server lag, don't do this to me. Nice little circles. Happy little circles. when I mine, that's not good. It's not a smart thing to do. It's not become daytime, so I guess that was sunset we saw earlier. Oh, 
Uh oh. Can't handle the lag. It's making life difficult. filling up the truck as quickly as I was expecting. Maybe my circles aren't good enough. This should be sufficient, I think. Ah, fooey. There's just a little bomb sitting there. I guess it'll be there forever. At least the server is taking it down. I really hope it's not. this instability though. Holy cow. Gently. Gently. Good theme song for mining would be flirting with disaster. Pretty much what it feels like. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Goodbye, Damar. Goodbye, mining spot. And this must be sunrise coming for us now. out there all night and my ship is smoking a little bit it's fine everything's fine you'll be yeah I think so
least the cockpit isn't full of smoke. That... So? You can still get wrecked. When the prospector starts taking a lot of damage, the inside just goes to shit. Cockpit fills with smoke, all the lights start flashing red. It's like, hey bro, just just want to let you know I'm dying. <laughs> like in GTA when your car catches on fire. You gotta get yourself out of there. Check my speed before I get to Olisar this time. Rather than coming barreling into the landing area. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Probably fine. Yeah. What a graceful land. Lovely. Flying around space in a mustard suit. It's not quite as bad as mustard yellow. It's not my favorite color. Dude, have you ever have you ever eaten mustard soup? No. Don't it's it's really bad. I don't think I've ever even heard of mustard soup. Alright, 24.79. Not bad. What is it? I'm like 4,800 today? Oh, yeah. 48 or 49, plus a bunch of time just looking at rocks that had potential, but unfortunately did not make the cut. I wonder if Kasaba has clothes today. They do! I'm still not very successful at trying them on. Need to see how that works. Fancy gold. I haven't disappeared yet, that's good. By the time I disappear as soon as I try on clothing. It's kind of terrible. Uh, anyway, that'll do it for me this morning, I think. Appreciate everybody who came to hang out. You're welcome. Blow up some rocks and almost blow up myself. 
Let's see. Let's go hang out with the Polysapien. He's a cool dude. All right. Everyone have a good day. Say hello to Polysapien. I expect to be back on this evening around 9.45 Mountain Time, which is 11.45 Eastern and 8.45 Pacific. So until then, take care. That was a good stream.